Alright then, this is Graveyard Shift. Seems like it's surprisingly rare to have horror games that take place in like classic locations like a freaking graveyard, but hey, let's see what we got here. New game. Graveyard Shift. In the silence of the night, demons ambush our thoughts, and madness unfurls its flag in our hearts. For sometimes, the darkest corners of our minds have their own demonic allure. I'm just gonna go away before you are finished reading. You don't mind, do you? Okay, cool, bye. Dark Phobia Games. You gotta have a driving scene <laughs> in horror stuff. Graveyard Shift. Seems like a lovely afternoon. Or evening, I suppose. December 1995. Whispering Wind Cemetery. Hello, sir. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, camera's moving. Okay, nice. <laughs> Maybe a little early for the achievements, but okay. Which I thought I turned off, by the way, but... Hello. I'm glad to see you. And I'm sure we've hired a great guardian. How do you like my ventriloquism skills? I know that during the first few nights, you might not feel comfortable in this place. And may be a bit scared. But you'll get used to it soon. Don't mind me weaving back and forth. I've got my earbuds on, and I'm listening to some pretty rocking tunes. This cemetery is the most peaceful place at night, and you'll find enjoyment in the tranquility and silence of this place. I'm sure I will. Of course. You need to be very vigilant and make sure no one enters. Well, no one alive, you that know is. That many famous people are buried here. Woof. Go to Johnny's to get all the details from him. And please stop zooming in on my face. Alright, I guess I have to talk to Johnny? Security room. And where am I? I'm... Hold on. Is this like the entrance to the... There's the church. So I guess I'm right at that section there so if i go hold on i'm a little confused as to where what is the security room is behind the church we take it this is the church and then this would be the security room hey you johnny just standing there looking very natural you Whoop. must be the new night shift guard you should know that guarding this cemetery isn't easy. What on account of all the zombies and whatnot? The cemetery is equipped with CCTV cameras due to the burial of many famous individuals. You must regularly check the cameras and never let anyone in. Okay. Tonight, the cemetery has three guests. Due to the time constraints and a lack of proper and secure mortuary around the city, they had to store the bodies of the ghost rock group here. The tonight. who? Tomorrow, well, no, not the who, but the ghost rock group. Be held, and you must be very attentive at the cemetery. Uh huh. And who are the ghost rock group? There's something very important that the priest told me not to tell you, but I'll share it with you. I'll just disobey orders. The previous night shift guard died of a heart attack, and we found his body at the church door with a bluish complexion and a terrified look on his face. But it was definitely still a heart attack. I don't want to scare you. But I thought it's better that you know and stay more alert. If you have any questions or encounter any issues, please contact me. Remember to regularly check the cameras. Quotation mark. Okay, bye. Well, time to fuck this up a couple million times because I'm kind of useless at this kind of work. Okay. Ooh, I can lean. Look at me! Wee! Wee! Anyway. To work I go. Do I close a gate somewhere or. Nope. 
I mean, okay. Nice that you have some lights here, but why are they all red? And why am I tiny? Uh, sir? Whoa! Me, sir, I must ask you to leave this place. This cemetery is closed from 5 p.m. onwards, and I have to lock the gate. Yes, please get up. <laughs> well, he sure walks funny. All right, buddy, get the fuck out. God, what a freako. Close the gate of the cemetery so that no one enters. Yeah, get the fuck out. Out, 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 out. Leave. 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 And how do I close the gate? There we go. You seem nervous. Did he get upset by my words? Not as upset as I was by his face. Into the security room and check the CCTV. Okay. Let's go and take a looksy-loo. Can I close the door behind me? Yes, I can. Boy, this place is a mess. Why is there a bed here? I'm not supposed to be sleeping. Certainly, here is the news no, no. Crap, I actually did kind of want to hear the news. Can we... I guess that was just supposed to happen. Alright, um, is there anything else here I can check out? New. No. Oh. Well, mini stove. It doesn't seem like there's anything else I can do here, so let's check the camera. No one here. No one here. No one here. No one in here. Oh, that's inside the church. Oh, there's a pipe that sprung a leak from the looks of it. Why the fuck is this? Well. Examine the water pipe. Yeah, but where was that? I just have to find it. Um, it seemed to be somewhere over here about. Oh, it's a dog. It's not supposed to be a dog here. Where's this fucking water pipe? Over there. Thank you for the big bright arrow. So I actually know where to find shit. I have to close the water tank. Okay. Let's follow the pipe then. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't mind me stepping on your graves. Promise it's nothing personal. There we go. Oh. Have you ever heard the cries of a demon? Oh! I can't believe my eyes. Well, at least they left, like, without a fuss. That's good, right? That's that's what we want? Yeah. Yeah. I'm good at my job. All right, check the CCTV again. Okay. Everything looks normal here. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, no. Don't love that. Well, then. Change has occurred in the dissection hall. Check it out. Yeah. Guess I'm gonna have to. A change has occurred. I'd say one of the fucking bodies fell down. Which is, uh... Not the most promising thing that could happen. In a goddamn makeshift morgue. He seems... non-pertubed. Oop! 
Oh. Why does everyone have this painting in horror games? Like, everyone. Staff only. Is, oh. Is, was that coffin supposed to be in here? I'm not super sure it is. Well. Alright, buddy. Let's put you back where you belong. There you go. Good thing you were stiff as a board. Go back to the security room. I would be happy to. Oh! Wow. She seems to have become upset by something. What about you, Jesus? Yeah, he's just like, uh, this shit again. Alright. Well. Oh, I can't close the door behind me? Ah, there we go. Uh-oh. What's this now? Oh, cool! Just, just a skull on the floor. That's what we like to see around the cemetery. Oh, the phone's ringing. I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, hold on. There we go. Grandma! I told you not to call unless it's important. Can't. Oh, I can jump a little. <laughs> I don't seem to have a crouch button. But there's something under the bed that I would like to see, but. Alright. I guess we check this again. Don't see any changes. Nope. Nope. No. No. Oh, hello! The fuck is the invisible man doing here? Alright, Claude Rains, I'm gonna... Oh. I can't get out for some reason. Did I... Why... Why can't I get out? Hold on, hold on. I'm the security guard of this cemetery, and I'm leaving a message for the next guard here. I'm here at night between 3 and 4 a.m., and I see very frightening, a very frightening nun on the east side of the cemetery standing over a grave. But I don't dare to approach her. Her crying is intensely eerie and disturbing, and it's unbearable. I recently found a solution that can make her voice somewhat more tolerable for you. Just whisper Jesus Christ 20 times. We don't know who this nun is, but I'm certain that she's not human. Well, that's ominous. Why can I not leave? Hey, buddy! I need you to fuck off! Do I need to find a key or something? Like, What happened? Why can't I get out? Trying the phone again does nothing. Did the game glitch? Like, oh, I need to take a nap. I guess that's what it wanted me to do. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hey, uh, keep an eye out for suspicious characters. Don't let, in let anyone in. And in case some freak in a mask stands and stares directly at the camera outside the gate, take a nap. That would appear to be a grave. Quite a few of them, actually. Um, is this one of these situations where I should go up to watch the light? Ooh, this is a lot of graves. A lot of graves. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that a lot of people have died in some kind of catastrophe. Or I'm just dreaming and nothing makes sense. Also an option. So, uh... Oh. Oh! There's something. Something a little different than everything else. So let's maybe go there. Some kind of... 
Uh oh. Well, Geronimo! <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh, hi. You all look like friends. Hmm. What a nice little nap I took. Guess it's night now. Is that a clock so I can see what time it is? What? Why is the dish spilled? I don't know, but it makes like a uh, face. And that's very funny to me. Oh, I'm gonna need that flashlight, aren't I? Oh. Wait. This is a different angle than it had before. I'm pretty sure. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right. Well, guess we're gonna have to go check on that car. Mm-hmm. Oi. It is dark out here. Yeah, 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 shut the fuck up, man. What can we do? What can, how can we stop it? What the hell? I need a tool in the warehouse. Really? You do? Okay. I guess you do. What is that building next to the warehouse? It doesn't say. Is this the warehouse? Oh, fun. Okay, so... A crowbar? I can't take that. Box cutter. Oh, it's a... No. I thought it was a box cutter. But it sounds like the car alarm stopped. I have to disconnect, disconnect the car's alarm wire. Otherwise, the car's battery may run out. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up. Alright, back to security, I guess. I wonder if I check around the, the graveyard, do I find that nun he talked about? Or is that for later? Was that just a bit of uh, foreshadowing? It kind of came across as something optional that you can run into by chance. The way it was written, but I guess not. Yeah, we're just going to run into her later, I think. Okay. Back to the security room. Boy, that bird is fucking loud. I need you to stop with your nonsense. Oh, that's reassuring. The fuse is blown. Find the fuse. <laughs> well, at least it, like, listed where the fuse is for me. That's nice. <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty simple. From the looks of it. Somewhere. Over hereabouts. I do wish that the map showed where I am on it. Like, it's, it's not that it's super confusing so far. Just, you know, would have been nice. Whoa. Wow, it is fried. Jeez. Check the CCTV. What is this? Oh, that's just a big leaf? I don't know if you say so. Oh, that's a lovely voice. 
Is that that nun? Is that the nun? Where are you at? No. What the hell? Oh, I guess it's just a lamp. Why don't you have one? Hmm. Well, back to the security room I go. Would you please? There you go. Mm hmm. Everything looks pretty kosher to me. Oh. No, that that's that's normal. Nobody by the gates. Oh, the bodies have been moved again. Man, fucking hell. Again? How could the bodies have raised? I don't know, man. You're working at a graveyard in a horror game? Seems pretty par for the course to me. Cool. I've always wanted werewolves. I actually am amazed that there aren't very many werewolf games. Why has no one made a werewolf horror game? Jesus is still like, mm, I don't wanna. Okay, so something is gonna happen in here later since I can go in here. That's good. Well, let's check on the bodies. You still got. Oh, the picture is entirely gone now. Hmm. Oh, they didn't just fall down, they left. Wow, they got up and walked away. That's not great. Find a way out. A key should be around here. One of the... Coffins, maybe? No? There's a key. What, did they lock me in? I didn't even notice. Oh. We will not be buried here. Yeah, you will. Fuck you, that's for me to decide. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna take this, cause I... X for woods. Okay, oh. Who that out there? Well, I can't go that way, so... Guess we're finding another way out. Nope. <laughs> okay, hello, sir. Um... You think it's wise to go out this way? He just walked past here. Pretty sure he can hear you. Okay, well, this is... a somewhat unfortunate situation I find myself in. Keep Johnny informed by phone. Okay, so back to the security room. You know, it could just have said, call Johnny. Just pointing that out. Right on. Oh. I, I need you to not be in my security room, mister. Oh, well, thanks. He listened. <laughs> the torch doesn't need torch oil. What are you talking about? Hello? Hello, Mr. Johnny. There's a problem. What's going on there? I just realized that the bodies are not in their place. What should I do? Mr. Johnny? I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this is not shaping up to be going super well for me. Check the CCTV. Oh, what's this? Something about drugs. I can't read it all. Fuck cops, fuck government, stand up, unite. Okay. <laughs> Mildly weird thing to have here, but sure. Let's check the CCTV. Oh, hello. Um. I don't think you're supposed to be there, but... Oh, no. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to step away from the grave. Someone is digging a grave in the cemetery. No shit? Really? 
I think the problem is more that they're doing it when they really fucking shouldn't be doing it. Also, I'm I'm not sure where it was, so... Where are you, you bitch? He dug that grave! Oh. Hello. Look what evil has do. Hey! Whoa! Escape from the graveyard through the gate. There's something wrong with this ga graveyard. I have to leave the cemetery as soon as possible so that I don't die myself. Oh, really? You think? Nah, everything seems fine around here. Oh, now one of them has a lamp. You didn't- you didn't before. Well, whatever. I'm out. Fuck this place. Bye. Was I supposed to be a cemetery guard or a damn ghost club? I'm not gonna stay here even for a moment. Oh, that's fun. Shit. The lock has been changed. Oh, that's a lot of people. Hi! Are you friends? Go back to the security room. Sure, I'll just- Oh, it's a full moon too. That's what we like. No, nothing has really happened inside the church yet. I just realized. What's this? Hmm. Half expecting there to be something terrible in here. Well. Okay. Okay. Fire. Oh, hello. Speaking of inside the church. Guess I know where I'm going. Yep. Fun. Okay. Nope, they're gone. Oi! Apparently not entirely gone. Ooh. We the buried ones in this cemetery have a message for you. For years, a demon has been buried here, tormenting our souls. Now, you are condemned to destroy the demon within the cemetery and save us from torment. Otherwise, a harsh death awaits you. Well, that hardly seems fair. I didn't ask for this. Oh. Oh. Not a fan of that black footprint there. Why are there... Three legs? What? Is this important? Okay, I guess we follow these footprints then. I feel like a cartoon detective. The fact that there's three le three uh, shoes, and they never switch from left to right, that's that's really weird. Like really weird. <laughs> Oh, where is this now? I'm not even sure where I am on the map. I need a tool to break the door lock. Right, the warehouse. The uh, crowbar that I tried to grab before and couldn't. There you go. Not right now, Yvonne. God damn it, I guess I forgot to uh, turn that off. I'm sorry. You'll just have to deal with that. And... Come on. There we go. Now it's open. Oh, great. They let me here. There must be something important here.
Smith, 1932. I don't see anything in there. I guess these are family crypts? Taylor, 1940. I'm gonna go ahead and assume this is part of some kind of puzzle. Oh. Oogala boogala boogala. Oh, you're gone. Well then. Up we go. Smith, Taylor, Jones, 1945. Nine. Oh, it's very dark through here. Roberts, 1951. Hi! You cool? Nope. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Johnson, 1968. Missed an opportunity to make it 1969. Johnson 69. <laughs> I'm very mature. Anyway, on we go. That sounded lovely. Oh, yeah, here we go. William saw Parrington, youngest child, between books and rotting corpses. Hmm. Hold on. William's or Britain family, youngest child, between books and rotting corpses. Interesting. Between books and rotting corpses. I don't see any dates on these. Between books and rotting corpses. So not in here. So then it must be in the Britain family. Okay. Harrington, Williams. Let me see again. Williams or Britain family. So there has to be someone around here called the Britain family, right? Johnson. I don't even remember seeing a, a Britain Roberts. Oh. Jones. Is there really a Britain all the way back? Taylor. Smith. Back to the beginning. So where's the Britain? I have a confuse. I must have missed a path or something. Back near the gate. So I guess we'll go check that out again. Let's run back up here. Quite a bit of way. Roberts. Johnson. Boom, 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 boom. All right, so once again, let's see. Williams or... Oh, it's just wrong over here on the main text. Weird. Williams or Parrington, youngest child between books and running corpses. So, Parrington. Thought it was strange. Parrington. Youngest child between... Books. Oh, hello. Okay. Between books and running corpses. I see no books in here. Oh. Turns out I am a silly boy and the coffins can be opened. So I guess there's not really a puzzle to figure out. 
Also, there's a beginning, like, objective thing up in the corner of the screen. There was a second ago, anyway. Oh, hello. Oh! <laughs> um, something went wrong here, I think. Well, that's what you get for burying a fucking mummy. Open this, please. I guess you don't really have to do a puzzle. You just open all the coffins and hope you find the one you're looking for. I'm assuming it's gonna be the one where that guy was like, oogie boogie spooky, but... I'm gonna inspect all the other ones, just to, uh, Just to see if there's anything interesting. Oh, hello. There's just a skull here, and... What is this? Nope. Well, that's mildly jank. But I guess there wasn't anything for me to pick up. Oh. Maybe you, maybe you go together with this over here. <laughs> okay, what's in here then? Open, please. Huh. Not a lot left of some of these corpses, huh? So wait, what does the between books and rotting corpses mean? I like there's any books. Oh, der. Well, that was dumb. Ooh, a letter. Elias, during his 60 years of life, spent his entire life trying to meet the devil, until one day he was possessed by the devil and began to torment and slaughter people. After a while, he was killed by the cops. His body was eventually laid to rest in a protected tomb underground, encircled by crosses and sacred verses. Elias was a very wise and kind-hearted man, but the devil took his body and soul from him. If he was so nice and kind-hearted, why the fuck did he try to meet the devil? That, that seems like something that can only go wrong. Well, alright. I, I guess we're done with that. So I'm out. Get me out of here. Thank you. Ooh. The candles are lit. As if someone was here today. I'm guessing this must be Eliza's grave. I'll take this. Axe for iron. Oh, well, thanks for clarifying. Why did I have an... Oh, I did use the axe. Right, I forgot that I used the wood axe. Alright, this seems like a terrible idea, but let's, um... Boom! Open sesame. Ooh, what's happening with the lights right now? Hey. Oh, that's the guy I, was, I saw outside. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Elias, although the devil has possessed your body and soul in this transient world, from today you will peacefully rest in eternal sleep, because the merciful Lord keeps you away from the devil. Elias, may the Lord forgive your sins and place your soul in peace. 1917, Whispering Winds Graveyard. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. I guess we'll just set the poor guy on fire. <laughs> Right, let's maybe get the fuck out of here. Just head for the exit. Oh no. Not sure I like that light I just saw. This wasn't here before. Alright, fine. Let's get the hell out. No shenanigans now. You hear me? None of those shenanigans. Oh. There actually were no shenanigans. Nice. I'm out. Yay. Back to the security room. I have no idea where the fuck I am. Oh, I'm up by the gate. Yeah. This place still... No, they... Okay. Don't see any mysterious stuff, so... I hear crying from there. I'll go check. Oh, here comes the nun. Oh, it's nun time.
Oh, yeah. Fun. Hey, lady. I need you to leave. Although I have a feeling you're gonna do something way more upsetting than leave. Lady? <laughs> yes! <laughs> I had a feeling. God damn it. Meet the dead nun. Oh, was she dead? I couldn't tell. I didn't even have to whisper Jesus Christ 20 times. So, hey, I'll consider that a win. Not a fan of those noises. Well, I still have a job to do, so time to check the CCTV. Whoop. Okay, okay. Up. Oh, you again? You again? Oh, I remember you. And you're going nuts, and you're there. Oh, you're new. <laughs> Just in there chilling, huh? Jesus seems a little upset. Oh. Okay, well, at least you came back. See you in the hell. Which one? Which hell? Wait, what did I do wrong, though? Oh. Devil does not burn. So I did it wrong? Leave the area. Well, I mean, I can do this again. I love that that works twice. Although I have a feeling that uh, it's not going to be that easy. But uh, yeah, see you in the hill. Oh! <laughs> Oh, it was scripted. That was supposed to happen. Where am I? Where is this? Hey, wait a second. Where is this? No flashlight. Where am I? Uh, I died? Oh, some of these coffins are pretty fucked up. There's one straight up missing here. That's not great. Can I look up? Oh, hello. Boy, this is, uh... Ooh. Hold on. The ones where no one is there, those are pretty upsetting. Oh. Why is this all fucked? No one's here. Hmm. Oh, there's one final coffin here. Should I assume that's mine? Well, I can open it. Oh! Alright, fine. Whee! Am I in hell now? <laughs> I can't seem to move on, so... you flashing for? I think I would like to have a flashlight, please. I don't see any important items or anything I can really do. Not any note yet. Oh, sledgehammer. Or it's a lever and I'm dumb. Hey! Boy, all these people came here just for me? How nice of you. You know what? You're all real pals. Oh. I... Ooh. Be a chest tape. Insert the VHS in the device. The video home system VHS is a standard for consumer level analog video recording on tape cassettes. Developed by Victor Company of Japan, JVC, in the early 1970s, it was released in Japan in late 1976 and in the United States in ni early 1977. That's very relevant to this story, thank you.
Oh, here. Well, play, please. Oh. There we go. What the? Play, motherfucker. Hello? Why can't I put the tape in? What the? What am I doing wrong? Oh, like that. All of a sudden you have to do it like that when everything else was automated. Yeah, I had to right click. That's dumb. Well, anyway. What you gonna show me? Hello there, viewers. Today's true story is about a man who was hired as a security guard at the Whispering Winds graveyard. However, on the first night, he realizes that the spirits in this cemetery are asking him to destroy the body of a demon-possessed man buried there as it torments them. The naive Thanks, Microsoft Sam. Believes them and burns the body of the demon-possessed man. But he didn't know that the spirits are not visible and everything he saw was of demonic nature. Now, the demon has awakened again, and the spirits of Whispering Winds are in torment. Death was the only punishment for this security guard. Oh, so the, the spirits was, were like, um, an illusion by the actual demon. And I just killed the one guy that kept it in check? I burnt the corpse of, of the guy that made sure they weren't, uh... Don't look at up. <sighs> I think I'm gonna look it up. There's nothing to see it up. Don't look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Hi! <laughs> well, it's morning. I don't appear to be dead. Assuming I'm still playing the same character. Okay. Everything looks to be in order. Hold on. Except for something weird in the church. Um. No bodies are in the places. There's no signs of last nightmare. Oh, the bodies are in their places. Thank God. Meet the priest at the exit. Hold on. I kind of want to see if I can go in the church. Because it looked like there was something weird in there. Nope. Okay. Guess we're going to go talk to the priest. Yeah, so, um, I fucking quit? How was the first night? I first night? It was my last night! Cemetery. I think you'd agree that being a god in this place revitalizes the human spirit. Man, go to hell, buddy. Leave. Yeah, thanks. Oh, I thought he had- I thought his shadow has horns for a second. <laughs> Well, I'm out. Fuck this. Find someone else to work here. I'm not doing this. <laughs> Bye now. But it said something about death being the punishment for the security guard. Oh, I, I'm what makes a woman love? I guess something terrible is going to happen on the way home. Hang her weary head and cry. Mm, nice music. What makes a woman hang her weary head and cry? It's gonna be something terrible on, oops, on the passenger seat eventually. Man, I just played Drive Me to Hell. I don't need this right now. Fucking. I can't drive for crap. Sorry. A woman. You don't say. All over the USA. 
Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Eyes on the road. <laughs> okay, here we go. Something's about to happen. I know something is about to happen. Oh, there's a guy up there. Yep. Hi. That's not great. Oh, we're back in cunt seat land. All right, show me what's on the passenger seat. Oh, <laughs> ah, hi! Fuck! Okay, so maybe not the passenger seat. I'm not dead yet. Hello? Okay, now I am. And who are you? Sir? I would like to get out. Oh no. In the car with me? Or do I just die? What? What? Ha I'm still. Wow, the game keeps going. What the fuck? Hey, uh, priesty man? Oh crap! Man, I didn't even get around to reading what that said. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> God damn it. No, that was probably important. I'm gonna have to look back at my footage to see what that said. God damn it. Amir Jafari and Isan Jafari. I mean, super cool work, man. I like how unapologetic this one is. Like, you're in a graveyard, there's ghosts. Those ghosts are gonna fuck with you. That's very nice. I feel like... I feel like some of the jump scares are a little too random. Like, I'm not sure I understand what happened here. Th Elias wanted to meet the devil. He got possessed by a demon and then buried. Oh, really? Are they fictitious? Alright. Um, and he got buried, but apparently his body was like keeping the demon contained, from what I understand. I, I don't I don't quite get it. So then you burn him and the demon gets loose and something happened here at the end. Hold on. What did that say? Have you ever heard the cries of a demon? And then he's gonna be right there? Nope. There he is! <laughs> huh. Well, interesting. Alright, I'm I'm still not entirely sure I, I understand the whole story of this. Or at least it's not very clearly defined. Like, we need some backstory on why this Elias person tried to meet the devil, because that's kind of a random thing to say. And aside from that, this game is really good. Um, well, for the most part. It doesn't really have many scares I haven't seen before, let's put it that way. But there are some choice moments in here. I like the part where you're, like, running around underground with all the coffins so you can look up and there are people looking down. That was creepy. That gave you a feeling of, like, oh shit, I'm dead. And this is what being dead is like. That was really cool. That was a, a cool moment. There were, there were a couple of cool moments that I liked. Um, yeah, this is pretty solid. It needs proofreading. Because the English is, quite frankly, hilarious sometimes. Like, don't look at up. <laughs> it's very good. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching Graveyard Shift. And I will see you in the hell. Bye. Bye.